Well, abortion and immigration policies are some of the cases that went or will go before the Texas Supreme Court. But there is a lot more to this as well. Our state capitol correspondent, Jayla Washington, explains. From abortion to immigration policies, these are the sort of recent cases that have or are set to go before the Texas Supreme Court. Well, we represented the mothers of several children who were detained. Both the mothers and the children were detained in these immigration facilities, which was is very harmful for the children. Amy War is the attorney for Grassroots Leadership, a group that challenged the state for trying to implement a rule that detention centers for families could be licensed child care facilities. A lower court ruled the group didn't have authority to be in court, representing parents in the immigration system. But the Texas Supreme Court justice is ruled otherwise. Why is it so important who is elected for this court? They're deciding very important issues. I think that any parent would think it's very important uh, that they have the right to go into court if they believe their child is being harmed. There are nine justices on the state Supreme Court. This November, Texas will vote on these three open justice spots. Yeah, the League of Women Voters has the best the best guy. Scott McCown, UT School of Law professor, says your average voter can do some digging on justices' policies on nonpartisan sites like the League of Women Voters. Most recently, the Supreme Court had a hand in rulings during the pandemic that affected people across Texas. And there was a lot of disagreement about what restrictions should be imposed. Now, the Texas Supreme Court has to sort all that out. And that was Sheila Washington reporting. A member of the Oath Keepers from North Texas says the extremist group was prepared January 6 to stop the certification of President Joe Biden's electoral victory by, quote, any means necessary, end quote. Jason Dolan actually took the stand yesterday to testify against Oath Keepers founder Stuart Rhodes. It was all in the hopes of getting a lighter sentence as part of a plea deal with prosecutors. His testimony could undermine Rhodes' initial arguments that he was merely acting in anticipation of orders he expected from former President Donald Trump. Rhodes' attorneys suggested that they will try to paint the cooperating Oath Keeper witnesses as liars who flipped their allegiance under pressure from the Justice Department. The Houston City Council has approved and adopted a redistricting plan. It will establish new boundaries of single member city council districts, effective January 2024. The redistricting website has been updated to reflect the revised district maps. Now, census from 2020 data shows the distribution of population among current city council districts is materially in balance. The redistricting is an effort to comply with the one person, one vote, equal population principle established by the U.S. Congress.